everybody. Get a Hero Black 7, Hero 7 Black, whatever you want to call it. There are a whole bunch of videos online about all the problems and how it's easier with the uh, GoPros to take out the, uh, the memory card and plug it into a memory reader instead of doing the transfer or how you have to install Quick on your cell phone to transfer your files. You know, that's the old, old, old GoPros. Nobody's telling you how to do it with the new GoPros until me. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really easy to do. If you like my videos, do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. Donate to my PayPal uh, channel. Donate to my uh, channel if you want with my PayPal info. Um, so here we go. We've got the GoPro 7. Now, people have said with the other GoPros that you've got to plug, uh, you have to turn on the camera before you plug in the cable, and then you won't be able to uh, get your files. Your files with Quick are going to go to a certain place, and you're not going to have a choice what you want to do. No, that's not the case with the new Black 7 Pro. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. So that's my computer. All we have right now, the DVD drive and the drive C. That's all we have. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Okay, I've got the, uh, the cables plugged into the USB of the computer. This is the USB-C thing. You can see right now the GoPro is off. Go over to the side over here. We've got the USB-C connector. I'm going to plug it in. Okay. Nothing's happening right now. Now, there were videos that said you have to turn on your, computer, your uh, camera first before you plug in the cable or else it's never going to recognize it. None of that is true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the power connector, I mean the power button, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen on the computer. Okay, we're zoomed in. I just pressed the power button. You heard the three beeps in the background. Windows is going to detect everything in a minute. And then there's the Hero Black. That's all you have to do. It's not that hard to do. Now, I'm not going to show you the full details about copying and pasting your files. If you don't know how to do that, you probably should not be messing with the computer. But all you have to do, this is considered a portable device, just like a, a thumb drive, a pocket drive, a pocket rocket drive. So you click on that, and what happens? You get your GoPro disk volume. Now, this thing has a 32 gigabyte that came with it. I have a uh, 128 gig that I'll plug in later if I like the, like the camera and I want to keep it. But we've got 18 gigs that I just shot today. Not, uh, I was only out there for about an hour. So you click on this, and then you get a box. Another window comes up. Get started with GoPro. Probably takes you to the uh, website for a manual DCIM, just like cell phones or anything else, video, 100 GoPro, click on that. And what do we have? We got all the files, all the files that I shot today. I'm assuming, uh, I don't even know which one is 4K. I do not know which one is 4K. It should be the last one that I shot. Um, so there it is. MP4 video, MP4 video, MP4 video. Copy and paste whatever you want to do. How easy is that? So you don't have to watch those videos that tell you you can't do it. This took two seconds to do. Very easy. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out all the other stuff I've posted. Thumbs up, subscribe. You know the routine. See ya. Bye. GoPro. DCIM 100. GoPro. Files. Computer. Copied over. I set the frame rate over there. Let's check it out. 1920 by 1080, 1080, 1080, 1080, 3840 by 2160. Very easy to copy over these files.